Asha Bosli, born the 8th of September 1933, is an Indian singer. She is best known as a playback singer in Hindi cinema, although she has a wider repertoire. Bosli's career started in 1943 and has spanned over six decades. She has done playback singing for over a thousand Bollywood movies. In addition, she has recorded several private albums and participated in numerous solo concerts in India and abroad. Bosli is the sister of playback singer Lata Mangeshkar. Renowned for her voice range and often credited for her versatility, Bosli's work includes film music, pop, ghazals, bhajans, traditional Indian classical music, folk songs, kawalis, and Rabindra Sangeets. Apart from Hindi, she has sung in over 20 Indian and foreign languages. In 2006, Asha Bosli stated that she had sung over 12,000 songs, a figure repeated by several other sources. In 2011, she was officially acknowledged by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most recorded artist in music history. The Government of India honoured her with the Dadasaheb Phalke Award in 2000 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2008. In 2013, she made her debut as an actress in the film Mai, and received critical acclaim for her performance. <laughs> Early life and career Asha Bosli was born in the small hamlet of Gore in Sangli, then in the salute princely state of Sangli now in Maharashtra, into the musical family of Master Dinanath Mangeshkar, who belongs to the Marathi-speaking Gomantic Maratha Samaj. Her father was an actor and classical singer on Marathi musical stage. When she was nine years old, her father died. The family moved from Pune to Kolhapur and then to Mumbai. She and her elder sister Lata Mangeshkar began singing and acting in films to support their family. She sang her first film song, Chala Chala Nav Bala, for the Marathi film Maja Bal 1943. The music for the film was composed by Dada Davjekar. She made her Hindi film debut when she sang the song, Sawan Aaya, for Hunsaraj Beel's Chunariya her first solo Hindi film song was for the movie Riyat Ki Rani At the age of 16, she eloped with 31-year-old Ganpatrao Bosli, marrying him against her family's wishes. <laughs> <laughs> career In the early 1960s, prominent playback singers like Geeta Dutt, Shamshid Begum, and Lata Mangeshkar dominated the singing for the female-led and the big films. Asha used to get the assignments they refused, singing for the bad girls and vamps, or songs in the second-grade movies. In the 1950s, she sang more songs than most playback singers in Bollywood. Most of these were in low-budget B- or C-grade films. Her earliest songs were composed by A. R. Qureshi, Sajad Hussain, and Ghulam Muhammad, and most of these songs failed to do well. Singing in Sangdal 1952, composed by Sajad Hussain, she got reasonable recognition. Consequently, film director Bimal Roy gave her a chance to sing in Parinita 1953. Raj Kapoor signed her to sing, Nanhi Mune Butch, with Muhammad Rafi in Boot Polish 1954, which gained popularity, oh. P. Nayar gave Asha a break in Sid She first achieved success in B. R. Chopra's Naya Dor composed by him. Her duets with Rafi like, Mong K. Soth Tumara, Sothi Hoth Badana, and Udin Jab Jab Zulfin Terry, penned by Sahir Ludianvi, earned her recognition. It was the first time she sang all the songs for a film's leading actress. Chopra approached her for several of his later productions, including Gumrah 1963, Waqt 1965, Hamraz 1965, Admi Aur Insan 1966, and Dund 1973. Nayar's future collaboration with Bosli also resulted in success. Gradually, she established her status and received the patronage of such composers as Sachin Dev Berman and Ravi. Bosley and Nayar had a professional and personal parting of ways in the 1970s. In 1966, Bosley's performances in the duets from one of music director R.D. Berman's first soundtracks, for the movie Tisri Manzil, won popular acclaim. Reportedly, when she first heard the dance number, Aja Aja, she felt she would not be able to sing this westernized tune. While Berman offered to change the music, she refused, taking it as a challenge. 
She completed the song after ten days of rehearsals, and Aja Aja, along with such other songs as O Hasina Zulfanwali and O Mir Sona Ri. All three duets with Rafi became successful. Shami Kapoor, the film's leading actor, was once quoted as saying, If I did not have Muhammad Rafi to sing for me, I would have got Asha Bosli to do the job. Bosli's collaboration with Berman resulted in numerous hits and a marriage. During the 1960-70s, she was the voice of Bollywood's actress and dancer, Helen, on whom O oh Hasina Zulfan Wali was picturized. It is said that Helen would attend her recording sessions so that she could understand the song better and plan dance steps accordingly. Some of their other popular numbers include Pia to A Flat to Aja, Caravan, and Ye Mera Dil, Don, among others. By the 1980s, Bosley, although highly regarded for her abilities and versatility, had sometimes been stereotyped as a cabaret singer and a pop crooner. In 1981 she attempted a different genre by singing several ghazals for the Rekha star Umrao Yan, including Dil Cheese Kya Hai In Onkan Ki Masti K Ye Kya Jaga Hai Dostan and Justa Jujiski T. The film's music director Kayam, had lowered her pitch by half a note. Bosli herself expressed surprise that she could sing so differently. The ghazals won her the first national film award of her career. A few years later, she won another national award for the song, Mara Kuch Saman, from Ijazat 1987. In 1995, 62-year-old Bosli sang for actress Ermila Matankar in the movie Rangila. The soundtrack featured songs like, Tana Tana, and Rangila Ri, sung by her, and composed by music director A. R. Rahman, who would go on to record several songs with her. During the 2000s, several of Bosley's numbers became chartbusters, including Radha K's Na Jail from Lagan 2001, Kambot ISHQ from Pyar Toon Kya Kya 2001, Ye Lamha from Philal 2002, and Lucky Lips from Lucky 2005. In October 2004, The Very Best of Asha Bosley, The Queen of Bollywood, a compilation album of songs recorded by Bosley for albums and Bollywood films that were released between 1966 and 2003, was released. In 2012 she judged Sir Shetra. In 2013, Bosley debuted in the film Mai in the title role, at the age of 79. Bosley played the role of a 65-year-old mother who suffers from Alzheimer's disease and is abandoned by her children. She received positive reviews for her acting as well from critics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Partnership with music directors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> O.P. Nayar. Music director O.P. Nayar's association with Asha is part of Bollywood lore. He was the composer who first gave Asha her own identity. Many people have speculated about a romantic relationship between the two. Nayar first met Asha in 1952, at the music recording of Cham Chama Cham. He first called her for a film called Mangu 1954, and gave her a big break in Sid 1956. However, it was the success of Naya Dor that made the duo very popular. After 1959, she was emotionally and professionally involved with Nayar. The team of O.P. Nayar and Asha Bosli is best remembered for their breezy and sometimes serenish songs. Some good examples of their sensuous numbers are Aye Mirban, picturized on Madhubala Howra Bridge, 1958, and Ye Hai Reshmi Zulfan Ka Indera. Picturized on Mumtaz Mir Sanam, 1965, Ao Hazor Tumko, Kismet, and Jaye Aap Kahan, Mir Sanam, were also popular. They also recorded songs for many hit movies like Tumsa Nahin Dekha, 1957, Ek Musafir Ek Hasina, 1962, and Kashmir Ki Kali, 1964. O.P. Nayar used the Asha Bosli Muhammad Rafi duo for his most popular duets such as Uday Jab Jab Zulfin Terry, Naya Dor, Main Pyar Ka Rahi Hoon, Ek Musafir Ek Hasina, Diwana Wa Badal, and Isharan Isharan Mine, 
Kashmir Ki Kali – Asha recorded her last song for O.P. Nayar in the movie Pran J. Par Vachan Na J. 1974. The solo number, Chain Say, got many awards, but it was not included in the movie. They separated on 5 August 1972. It is not clear what made them part their ways. On being asked the reason for their parting, O.P. Nayar once said, I know astrology very well. I knew that one day I had to part with her. Something also happened that upset me, so I left her. Nevertheless, he also said, Now that I am 76, I can say that the most important person in my life was Asha Bosli. She was the best person I ever met. The parting of Asha Bosli and O.P. Nayar was bitter, and probably therefore she has hesitated to give Nayar his due. While talking about O.P. Nayar in an interview with the Times of India, she once remarked, Whichever composer gave me work, it was because my voice was suited to his music at that point. No one musician did me any favor by asking me to sing for him. She gives the credit for her first big break to B.R. Chopra, the producer of Naya Dor. Khayyam Another music director who recognized Ash's talent early was Khayyam. Their partnership dates back to his first movie Baiwai 1948. Khayyam gave her some good assignments in the 1950s, including Dard and Fear Subahogi. But the team is chiefly remembered for the songs of Umrao Yan. Ravi Music composer Ravi considered Asha one of his favorite singers. She sang for his first movie Vachan 1955. The melodious lullaby from the movie Chandamama Dor K, became an overnight hit among young mothers in India. Ravi got her to sing bhajans for the movies Garana, Grihasti, Kajal and Fool Aur Pathar, at a time when most of the composers remembered her only when they needed to record B-grade songs picturized on the vamps or the side heroines. Ravi and Asha recorded a variety of songs, including the popular funny duet with Kishore Kumar. C.A.T. Cat. Cat Main Billy. Dili Ka Thug. The Bhajan. Tora Man Darpan. Kajal is considered one of Ash's best songs. They also recorded songs for many popular movies like W.A.Q.T., Chadvan Ka Chand, Gumra, Bahu Betty, Chinatown, Admi Aur Insan, Dund and Humraz. For Chadvan Ka Chand, Ravi wanted Gita Dutt the wife of actor and producer Guru Dutt to sing the songs. But when she backed out, Guru Dutt insisted that Asha sing the songs. <laughs> Sachin Dev Burman One of Bollywood's most famous composers, Sachin Dev Burman and his favorite singer, Lata Mangeshkar, were not on good terms from 1957 to 1962. During this period, S. D. Burman used Asha as his lead female voice. She and Burman gave many hit songs in movies such as Kaala Pani, Kaala Bazaar, Insan Jog Yutha, Lajwanti, Sujata and Teen Devayan They recorded many songs together after 1962 as well. Most famous of these songs were Ash's duets with Muhammad Rafi and Kishore Kumar. The song, A Flat K Baras, in Bimal Roy's Bandini 1963 consolidated her position as a lead singer. The seductive song, Riyat A Kelly High, from Jewel Thief 1967, picturized on Tanuja, became very popular. Rahul Dev Burman Pancham. Asha first met Rahul Dev Burman also known as Pancham when she was the mother of two and he was in 10th grade having dropped out to pursue music. Their partnership was first noticed in Tisri Manzil 1966. She went on to record a variety of songs with him, cabarets, rock, disco, gozzles and classical. In the 1970s, Asha and Pancham's youthful Western songs took Bollywood music by storm. The raunchy cabaret, Pia to a flat to Aja, Caravan, picturized on Helen, the rebellious, Dum Maro Dum, Hair Rama Hair Krishna, 1971, the sexy, Dunia Mine, APNA Desh, 1972, and the romantic, 
Chura Lia Hai Tumna, Yadan Ki Bharat, 1973. Pancham also recorded many hit duets with Asha and Kishore Kumar, such as John Yan, Jawani Dewani, and Bali Bali Cx Sorat, Buddha Mil Gaya. In the 1980s, Pancham and Asha recorded subtle numbers for films like Ijazat, 1987, Mera Kuch Saman, Kali Hoth Sham Aayi Hai, and Katra Katra. They also recorded the popular duet, O oh Maria, Sagar. Asha used to call R. D. Berman, Bubs. She married him in 1980. Their partnership lasted until his death. R. D. Berman made her sing some of the most legendary songs in Bengali language as well, namely, Mohaye Jomcha Aj Mo Go, Chok Chok Kota Bolo, Chok Name Brishti, Bengali version of John Kya Baat Hai, Banshi Soon Ki Gor Thaka J, Sandhya Balay Tumi Ami, and Aj Gungan Gun Gunje Amar, Bengali version of Pyar Diwana Hota Hai. Ilaya Raja Prolific Indian film composer Ilaya Raja began employing Ash's vocals in the early 1980s, their earliest collaboration being for the film Mundram Parai remade in Hindi as Sadma in 1983. Their association continued, mostly through the latter half of the 1980s and early 1990s. Another notable song from this period is, Shinbagame". Enga Oru Pathyakaran, 1987, Tamil. In 2000, Asha sung the theme song for Kamal Hassan's political film Hey Ram. The song, Ne Partha Parve, Janman Ki Jawala in Hindi, or Aparna's theme, was a duet with singer Haraharan. A. R. Rahman A. R. Rahman is credited with Ashes. Comeback with Rangila 1994. Songs like Tana Tana and Rangila Re were chartbusters. She and Rahman went on to record more hits like Mujhe Rangda, Thakshak, Radha K's Na Jail, Lagan, duet with Udit Narayan, Kahan Og Lage, Tal, O Bonware, Dodd, duet with KJ Yasuda's Vanilla Vanilla, Iravar, 1999. September Madam, Alipayuthi, 2000, and Dwan Dwan, Meenashi, 2004. <laughs> J. Dev When S. D. Berman's assistant J. Dev started giving music independently, he got Asha to sing some of his songs as well. They worked in Humdono 1961, Mujhe Jean Du 1963, Dubun Pani 1971, and other movies. In 1971, the pair released an LP of eight non-film devotional songs and ghazals called An Unforgettable Treat. Asha considered J. Dev a close friend who stood by her when she was struggling personally and professionally. Upon his death in 1987, she released a compilation album of lesser-known songs he had composed for her, called Saranjali. Shankar Jaikishan Shankar Jaikishan worked relatively little with Asha. However, the trio produced quite a few hits including the seductive Pard Mine Ren Du, Shakar, 1968. Asha got her second Filmfare Award for the song. She also sang Zindagi Ek Safar Hai Suhana. And as, 1971, for Shankar Jaikishan, in which she tried to yodel like Kishore Kumar, whose version of the song is more better known. When Raj Kapoor was not on speaking terms with Lata Mangeshkar, Asha got to sing the songs of Mera Nam Joker, 1970, composed by Shankar Jaikishan. Anu Malik Composer Anu Malik and Asha have recorded many hit songs together, including songs for his first movie Sony Mahiwal 1984. Their most popular songs include, Ye Lamha Afilal, Filal, and Kitabine Bau Si, Bazagar, among others. The four lines sung by Asha in Malik's, Jab Dil Mile, 
Yadine stood out among voices of Sukhwinder Singh, Udit Narayan and Sunidhi Chauhan. Asha had also sung for Anu's father Sardar Malik in the 1950s and 1960s, most notably in Saranga 1960. Other composers Maiden Mohan recorded a number of songs with Asha, including the popular folk number, Jumka Jira Ri, from Mara Saaya. In Chahoti Cbaat, Asha sang the Jain Man Jain Man number with K. J. Yasudas for Salil Chowdhury. Salil's 1956 movie Jogte Raho also had a number recorded by Asha. Thandi Thandi Sawan Ki Fuhar. Another Asha patron is the young composer Sandeep Choda, who got her to sing Kambot Ishq, a duet with Sonu Nigam for the movie Pyar Toon Kya Kia. The song gained major popularity among the Indian youth. Asha has worked with Lata patrons like Lakshmikant Piarelal, Naushad Ali, Ravindra Jain, N. Dutta, and Hemant Kumar. When Naushad was asked to sum up the essential difference between Lata and Asha, he said that Asha lacks certain something which Lata, and Lata alone has. Later he stated in an interview, Maybe I said it because I then had a closed ear on Asha. Naushad, later in his life, also admitted that he has been unfair to Asha. Asha has also worked with other noted Bollywood composers like Jatin Lalit, Bapi Lahiri, Kalyanji Anandji, Usha Khanna, Chitragupt, and Roshan. Non-Bollywood music Private albums In a rare feat, noted lyricist Gulzar, music director R.D. Berman and Asha Bosley came together in 1987 to create a double album, titled Dil Padozi High, which was released on 8 September 1987. In 1995, Asha underwent the Gatha Bandhan thread tying ceremony with Hindustani classical music maestro Ali Akbar Khan to learn a classical repertoire held within the Maihar Gharana stylistic school of Indian classical music, as handed down to Khan by his father Aladdin Khan the guru of Ravi Shankar. Later, Asha and Ostad Ali Akbar Khan recorded 11 fixed compositions or bandishes in California for Legacy, a private album that earned them a Grammy Award nomination. In the 1990s, Asha experimented with remixed R.D. Berman songs. She was criticized by many, including Kayam for tampering with old melodies. Nevertheless, albums like Rahul and I became quite popular. In 1997, Asha did a private indie pop album Janam Samja Karo with Lesel Lewis. The album was hugely popular and won her many awards including the 1997 MTV Award. Asha had been once asked by director B. R. Ishara to compose music for one of his films, but she had politely declined. In 2002, she turned music composer with the album AAP Ki Asha, an eight-song music and video album. The lyrics were written by Majru Sultanpuri, his last lyrics. The album was released by Sachin Tendulkar on 21 May 2001 at a lavish party in Mumbai. The album received mixed reviews. Asha had spotted Pakistani singer Adnan Sami's talent when he was about 10 years old. At that time, she was performing in London, with R.D. Berman. It was she who had asked him to pursue his interests in music seriously. When Adnan grew up and became a professional musician, Asha sang the title duet with him for his best-selling album Kabi to Nazar Malau. The two came together again in the album Bars Badal. The album comprises eight songs, based on Indian classical music. She contributed the song Yun Na T to the recording Womad Talking Book Vol. 4, an introduction to Asia 1 on Womad Records. Asha has sung ghazals for many albums like Miraj e Ghazal, Abshar e Ghazal and Kashish. In 2005, Asha released a self-titled album as a tribute to the four Ghazal maestros, Mehdi Hassan, Ghulam Ali, Farida Kanam and Jagjit Singh. The album features eight of her favorite ghazals like Farida Kanam's Aj John Ki Zid Na Karo, Ghulam Ali's Chupka Chupka, Awar Ji and Dil Mine Ek Lahar, Jagjit Singh's Ahista Ahista and Mehdi Hassan's Ranjish Hai Sahi, Rafta Rafta and Mujay Tum Nazar Say. 
These classic ghazals were recreated with modern sounds by musician Pandit Somesh Mathur. The album was aimed at the younger generation, who, according to Asha, are turned off by the traditional sounds of tabla and sarangi. Numerous compilations of Asha's songs have been released as well. To commemorate her 60th birthday, Emmy India released three cassettes, Bala Main Baragan Hongi devotional songs, The Golden Collection, Memorable Ghazals non-film ghazals by composers such as Ghulam Ali, R.D. Berman and Nazar Hussain, and The Golden Collection, the ever-versatile Asha Bosli, 44 popular film songs. In 1996, Asha Bosli sang Chanash Rati among several other songs in Rajendra Talak's Konkani album Daryachi Adigar with Suresh Wadkar. In 2006, she recorded an album Asha and Friends, singing duets, with film actors Sanjay Dutt and Urmila Matankar and famous cricket player Brett Lee, with whom she sang, You're the One for Me Han Main Tumara Hoon. All these songs composed by Shamir Tandon were shot on video by journalist-turned-director S. Ramachandran. In 2014, she sang a song titled, Dil Lagain Ko Dil Jab, for the International Women's Day Special album, Women's Day Special, Spreading Melodies Everywhere. It was composed by Shamir Tandon and penned by Sajan Agarwal. In 2016, she recorded the album, 82, with music director Mandar Agashi who decorated six of Suresh Bhatt's ghazals with his musical touch of pop, reggae, blues, and rock. The album was named after her age at the time of recording. About the album, 8. Bosley said, I had a long association with Suresh Bhatt and have a lot of memories about him. With this album, I will relive those memories. I don't need to tell you how powerful his words were and, with the album, that power can be experienced again. Mr. Bhatt always wanted to record these ghazals in the pop and rock genres and it is good to see Mandar fulfilling that wish. I just wish Mr. Bhatt was among us today. Topic. Concerts and collaborations with foreign artists In the 1980s and 1990s, Asha went globe-trotting, staging concerts in Canada, Dubai, UK, US and many other countries. In 1989, during a world tour, she performed in 13 US cities in 20 days. Immediately after this, she had an already sold-out concert scheduled in Stockholm, Sweden. Due to the stressful schedule, Asha suffered a massive attack of colitis, together with fever, cough and weakness. In Stockholm, a pre-concert crisis meeting was called, attended by Asha's son and manager Anand and the sponsors. It was decided that the orchestra will play many instrumental tracks, the accompanying singers like Suresh Wadkar would shoulder the load, and Asha will make a small appearance. But Asha rejected all such proposals and sang at the concert with great difficulty, in a not-so-good voice. Her first set of six Bollywood songs did not receive any response from the audience, which consisted mostly of Indian and Pakistani expats. Before the start of the second set of songs, a fan in the crowd requested her to sing a Marathi song. Asha obliged and sang, Nach Nachuni Ati Me Damel. I'm very tired of this endless dancing. When the song ended, the auditorium erupted with claps and the encore started. After the concert, Asha was in bed for a month, recuperating from overexertion. In October 2002, she did a concert with Sudesh Bosli and others, in London, for Help the Aged, to help raise funds for the elderly in India. In 2007 she toured the US, Canada, and West Indies in a tour called The Incredibles. In this tour, she was accompanied by singers Sonu Nigam, Kunal Ganjawala and Kalash Kher. This tour, originally scheduled for only 12 concerts, went on to run more than 20. In the mid-1980s, Asha sang with Boy George, Bow Down Mr., and Stephen Lauscombe. In 1997, she sang a love song with the boy band Code Red, at the age of 64. She also recorded the song, The Way You Dream, One Giant Leap, with Michael Stipe that was used in the English movie, Bulletproof Monk. The song was also released on the album One Giant Leap for 2002. In 1997, the British band Cornershop paid tribute to Asha with their song, Brimful of Asha, an international hit which was later remixed by Fatboy Slim. In 2001, the CD single of Nelly Furtado's, I'm Like a Bird, included a Nelly vs. Asha remix, created by Digital Cut-Up Lounge. 
In 2003, British opera pop singer Sarah Brightman sampled her song, Dil Cheese Kya Hai, on her album Harem. It was used as the intro for her song, You Take My Breath Away. In 2005, American string quartet Kronos Quartet re recorded R. D. Berman compositions like, Chura Lea, Pia Tu, and Mara Kuch Saman, among others, and got Asha to sing them. Despite her age, she recorded three to four songs a day, leaving the quartet members stupefied. On 23 August 2005, You've Stolen My Heart, Songs from R.D. Berman's Bollywood was released in U.S. The album was nominated for Grammy Awards 2006 in the category of Best Contemporary World Music Album. In the 1990s, a friend had introduced David Harrington of Kronos Quartet to the song Aj Ki Riyat. Harrington was mesmerized, and the song ended up on the album Kronos Caravan. Also in 2005, the Black Eyed Peas sampled her songs, A Nojawan Sab Kuch Yahan, Apra, 1972, and Ye Mera Dil Pyar Ka Dawana, Don, 1978, in their hit single, Don't Funk With My Heart. In late 2006, Asha collaborated with Australian Test cricket star, Brett Lee. The single, You're the One for Me, debuted at number 4 on the charts and reached a peak position of number 2. In 2006 Asha recorded one song for the soundtrack of the Pakistani movie Mine Ek Din Laut K Aanga. She sang the song titled, Dil Ki Tar Baje, with famous Pakistani pop singer Jawad Ahmed. It was aired as part of the film's promotional campaign and became very popular, featuring on top music charts. Bengali career Asha Bosli sang her first Bengali song in 1958 under the banner of HMV. The songs were duets with Bainad Chattopadhyay and composed by Mana Day. The following year, she recorded her very first Puja songs from HMV with music arranged by Day again. She sang many Puja songs in Bengali. Rahul converted some Hindi tracks to Bengali such as Gunjon Dol Jabramar, made from Ganguna Rehi Hain Bare in Aradhana, Chok Name Bristi, from Jain Kya Baat Hai, Gungan Gunje, from Pyar Diwana Hota Hain. In the mid 1970s, she would frequently sing for Bengali songs tuned by Sudan Das Gupta, Nashikita Ghosh Rtc. In 1975, she sang the duet, Sarah Pyar Tumara. With Kishore Kumar in Anand Ashram and Amar Swapno Tumi in its Bengali version with the same title. In the 1970s, she sang a lot of songs in films such as Chadmebeshi, Bandi, Mochik, Anand Ashram, etc. In 1980, she sang the bhajan Kunjo Bihari He Giridari in Mayor Ashirbad. In 1981, she sang the duet Adho Alo Chayate with Kishore in Kalankini Kankanati. In 1982, she sang a Bengali Adunak song, Kota Hoyechilo, in Troyi for Debasri Roy. In 1986, the duet with Kishore Kumar, Churadini Tumi Je Amar, composed by Bapi Lahiri. In 2014, she has created the album, Pancham Tumi Kothe, in honor of her husband Rahul Dev Berman's 75th birth anniversary. In this album, she has sung eight songs previously composed by Berman. She has also sung in a 2014 film Parapar at the age of 81. Topic Personal life Ashes House is situated in Prabhu Kunjapt on the Pedar Road area of South Mumbai. Asha, at the age of 16, had eloped with 31-year-old Ganpatrao Bosli. They separated in 1960. They have three children and five grandchildren. The eldest of her three children, Hemant Bosli, named after Hemant Kumar, spent most of his early years as a pilot and quit to have a brief career as a music director. Bosli's daughter Varsha committed suicide on the 8th of October 2012. She was 56 years old and worked as a columnist for the Sunday Observer and Rediff. Ash's youngest child, Anand Bosli, has studied business and film direction. He manages Ash's career. Her grandson, Chaitanya Chintu Bosli Hemant's son, is a part of the world of music. He is a member of India's first and only boy band, a band of boys. Her sisters Lata and Usha Mangeshkar are playback singers. Her other, sister Meena Mangeshkar and brother Rydanath Mangeshkar are music directors. 
Hemant Bosli's best known compositions were the Kishore Asha duets such as Aji Kaho Kya Hal Hai from Anpad picturized on Vajendra Ghatki and Sarika and Salamat Raho Tum from the same film Anpad picturized on Ashok Kumar and Sarika. Her son Hemant died of cancer in 2015. Asha's first husband Ganpatrao was her personal secretary. Their marriage failed miserably in 1960. Her husband and in-laws mistreated her. After a few years of marriage, Asha was turned out by a suspicious Ganpatrao and she went to her maternal home with two children while pregnant with her third child. She continued to sing in films to earn money. Asha married Rahul Dev Burman in 1980. This was the second marriage for both Rahul and Asha. Rahul, six years younger than her, earlier got divorced from Rita Patel in 1971. Asha is an excellent cook and cooking is her favorite hobby. She often gets flooded with requests by Bollywood celebrities for kadeh gosht and biryani dishes and has rarely turned down a request. In fact, her paya curry, gone fish curry and dal are very popular with the Kapoor family of Bollywood. Once, when asked in a Times of India interview, what if her singing career had not taken off, she said, I would have become a cook. I'd have cooked in four houses and made money. The love of cooking got Asha into a successful restaurant business. She runs restaurants in Dubai and Kuwait called Ashes. Ashes offers traditional northwestern Indian cuisine. It has a presence in the Wafi city development in Dubai, as well as three restaurants in Kuwait, at the Avenues Mall, the Marina Mall and a brand new third outlet at the Spoons Complex. Other restaurants can be found in Abu Dhabi's Khaldia Mall, Doha's Villaggio and Bahrain's City Centre Mall, with future outposts planned for Dubai's Mall of the Emirates and Cairo, Egypt. Asha Bosli has a 20% stake in the business. Asha is not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the restaurant which is looked after by the Wafi group. She takes care of the kitchen and the decor. She personally trained the chefs for almost six months. According to a December 2004 report in Menu magazine, Russell Scott, a former head of Harry Ramsden's The Fish and Chips chain, secured the UK rights to the Ashes brand and planned to open up to 40 restaurants over the next five years. As part of her chain of restaurants, Asha has recently opened a new restaurant in Birmingham, UK. Asha Bosley will be on view at the Madame Tussauds Gallery that opens in New Delhi soon. Rivalry with Lata Mangeshkar Asha's sibling rivalry with Lata Mangeshkar is often talked about, in spite of their insistence that these are just tales. As young children, they were very close. As a child, Lata used to carry Asha all the time. They were so inseparable that when Lata went to school she would take Asha with her. One day the teacher protested and said that they cannot have two students on one fee. Lata refused to return to school without Asha and quit her studies. Lata considered Asha's act of eloping with her lover as irresponsible, leaving her alone to sing and earn for the family. This led to tensions between them. Asha herself stated in an interview, It was a love marriage and Lata Didi did not speak to me for a long time. She disapproved of the alliance. At one time, their relationship was very adversarial and there have been periods of non-communication. In her initial days in the industry, Asha always played second fiddle to her elder sister. Some say that Lata had once criticized Asha's relationship with O.P. Nayar. This widened the rift between the two sisters and O.P. Nayar also decided that he would never work with Lata. O.P. Nayar had once revealed that, Asha and Lata, staying in opposite flats at Bombay's Pedar Road, shared a maid. Said maid's responsibility was to come and tell the younger sister that Lata had just recorded something wonderful for Asha to lose her vocal poise. Such was her Lata phobia that it took me some months to convince Asha that she had a voice individualistic enough to evolve a singing style all of her own. Asha once said that she has worked for years to create a voice and a style that was different from Lata, so that she could carve her own niche and not be banished to live in her sister's shadow. Asha and Lata have also sung together. Their first duet was for the film Damon. 1951. Some of their songs include Man Bawan K Gar I. Kori Kori, 1956. Saki Re Sun Bol Papaha Us Par. Miss Mary, 1957. O Chand Yahan Wo Jayan. Sharada, 1957. Mir Meboob Mine Kya Nahi. Mir Meboob, 1963. Unse Nazran Mili. 
Gazel, 1964. I Cash Kissy Dwayne Co. Aaye Din Bihar K. 1966. Jab Si Lagi Tus Najariya. Shikar, 1968. Main Hasina Naznina Koi Much Sanahi. Bazi, 1968. Main Chali Main Chali. Padosan, 1968. Chap Tilak Sab. Main Tulsi Tere Ongan Ki, 1978, and Man Kian Beka. UTSAV, 1984. While singing, Lada used to hold her notebook in her right hand, while Asha held hers in the left hand. This meant Lada had her face away from Asha, making it difficult for them to anticipate each other. The movie Saws was supposedly based on Lada and Asha's rivalry. Asha said about the movie, To have two women in long plates, take a couple of incidents and exaggerate them into a three hour film is such a waste of time. In the last few years, Asha and Lada have often been seen in public, enjoying each other's company. In an interview with the Times of India, Asha once said, I remember, sometimes both of us would be at a function and some industry types would ignore me and interact only with her, as if to prove their loyalty. Later, Didi and I would have a good laugh. In popular culture British alternative rock band Cornershop released Brimful of Asha in 1997. The song dedicated to Asha Bosley became an international hit single for the band and topping the UK singles chart in February 1998. A number of remixes have been released as well, notably by Norman Cook, also known as Fatboy Slim. Topic: <laughs> Awards. Topic: Filmfare Awards. Asha Bosley has won seven Filmfare Best Female Playback Awards of 18 nominations. She won her first two awards in 1967 and 1968. Mangeshkar asked not to be considered for the award nominations after 1969 to promote new talent. After receiving the award in 1979, Bosley emulated her elder sister and requested that her name not be considered for the nominations hereafter. Despite this, Bosley is the most frequent winner of this award to date, tying with Alka Yagnik. She was later given a special award for Rangila in 1996, and the Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award in 2001. Following is the list of her Filmfare Awards. Topic. Filmfare Best Female Playback Award 1968. Garibon Ki Suno. Deuce Lac, 1966. 1969. Pard Mine Ren Du. Shikar, 1968. 1972. Pia 2A Flat to Aja. Caravan, 1971. 1973. Dum Maro Dum. Hair Rama Hair Krishna, 1972 1974. Hone Laji Hain Riyat. Naina, 1973 1975. Chain Se Humko Kabi. Pran J. Par Vachan Na J., 1974 1979. Ye Mara Dil. Shikar, 1978. Topic. Film Special Award 1996 Special Award, Rangila, 1995. Topic: Lifetime Achievement Award. 2001 Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award. Topic: National Film Awards. Asha has won the National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer twice 1981, Dil Cheese Kya Hai Umrao Yan. 1986, Mara Kuch Saman Film Awards 1982. IIFA Award for Best Female Playback 2002, Radha Kaisa Na Jail Lagan. Topic: Other awards. 
Asha has won numerous other awards, including 1987 Nightingale of Asia Award from the Indo Pak Association, UK. 1989 Lata Mangeshkar Award, Government of Madhya Pradesh. 1997 Screen Video Khan Award for the album Janam Samaja Karo. 1997 MTV Award for the album Janam Samaja Karo. 1997 Channel V Award for the album Janam Samja Karo. 1998 Dayawati Modi Award. 1999 Lata Mangeshkar Award, Government of Maharashtra. 2000 Singer of the Millennium Dubai 2000 Z Gold Bollywood Award for Mujhe Rangda from Thakshak 2001 MTV Award for Kambot ISHQ 2002 BBC Lifetime Achievement Award presented by the UK Prime Minister Tony Blair 2002 Z Cine Award for Best Playback Singer Female for Radha K's Na Jail from Lagan 2002 Z Cine Special Award for Hall of Fame 2002 Sansui Movie Award for Radha K's Na Jail from Lagan 2003 Swaralaya Yasuda's Award for Outstanding Contributions to Indian Music 2004 Living Legend Award by the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry 2005 MTV Immies Best Female Pop Act for Aj John Ki Zid Na Karo 2005, Most Stylish People in Music. Honours and recognitions In 1997, Asha became the first Indian singer to be nominated for the Grammy Award, for Legacy, an album with Ostad Ali Akbar Khan. She has received 17 Maharashtra State Awards. She received the Dadasaheb Falk Award in 2000 for her outstanding contribution to Indian cinema. She holds honorary doctorates from the University of Amravati and University of Jalgaon in literature. She has received the Freddie Mercury Award for outstanding achievement in arts. The Birmingham Film Festival paid her a special tribute in November 2002. She was honoured with the Padma Vibhushan by the Government of India. She was among top 20 music icons of the past 50 years. In 2011 the Guinness Book of World Records officially acknowledged Bosley, at the Asian Awards, as the most recorded artist in the history of music. She was awarded a certificate for the most studio recordings singles from Sebastian Coe for recording up to 11,000 solo, duet and chorus-backed songs and in over 20 Indian languages since 1947. At the event she was also awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award. Asha Bosley is the recipient of the first Doctor of Literature D. Lit. of the Jodhpur National University. <laughs> <laughs> Further reading Kakrabarti, Atanu Asa Bohm, Sale, Jabana O Gana in Bengali. Kolkata, Medela Publishing House. ISBN 978-81-7616-040-7. OCLC 42764343. Siddhakara, Mukesa Asa Bomsale, Gain, Kordsa, Ora Svaralipi in Hindi. Delhi, Music Books. ISBN 978-81-89511-00-5. OCLC 71,351,425 See also Mangeshkar family <laughs>